So we're decorating our gingerbread house a little early this year, but we're getting in the Christmas spirit. And I bought one of the pre-made ones. It's already like put together. So we just have to decorate it. And it just, it got broken in the box, but that's okay. It's just got a little chip on it. Trevor's and got all his. I ate it. <laughs> Trevor ate the broken piece. We got all of our candies there. The big thing of icing. And Trevor's gonna go to town and decorate. Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> Careful with that candy in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Should we put on some Christmas music? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this too much or is this perfect? Perfect. Perfect? Yeah. Oh. Okay, don't need any more though. Okay, this is the last candy we need. Okay. What? You need more than that. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six geese a laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me seven swans a singing, six geese a laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a lake, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. You see another kitty? Oh. I know. See, this is my house. Aw, look at her tail all puffed out. She wants to fight. This cat is ready to fight. Aw, buddy, we used to have an orange cat. It's a little creepy because we used to have an orange cat that kind of looked just like that. Oh, honey. Right? You guys, so Trevor and I just woke up and you're not gonna believe this. Snow! We woke up to some snow. What? Um, my, my idea to make a snow of snow, mm -hmm. we can make a path for my gator. Mm, we could. We could. Water on top of the pool's ice. So, uh, there's no school today, but not because of the snow, because tomorrow is Veterans Day, so they close school today to honor Veterans Day, so it kind of works out. It's kind of like a snow day, too, just with not as much snow. Of course, Trevor wants to just immediately go right outside and play, so we're going to, um, we're going to eat some breakfast and probably go out and play in the snow. So, Trevor wants to show you guys his behavior chart. And so, I'm going to count them for you. So One, this is all two, the stuff. Three. Hold on. Let's explain first. This is all the stuff that he is working on that we've been um, having a hard time with lately. So I just put Monday through Friday and at the end of the week 
if he has more smiley faces than X's, then we get to do something fun on the weekend. So okay. smiley face means he did good, and an X means we need to work on it. Okay, now watch. You gonna count all your smiley faces? No X's. Okay. One, two, Okay, yep. And then he wanted to make a, a behavior chart for a mama cat, so she has no hissing and no scratching. And <laughs> she scratching. hissed every day this week, and she scratched once, so mama cat needs to work on her hissing, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's a bad, bad <laughs> cat. Yeah, and then the last chart we have here, our fridge is full of charts right now. Our last chart is Trevor's chore chart. He has to feed the cat when her dish is low. Um, you guys are gonna totally think I'm an artist too with my drawings, aren't they just great? Put the dishes in the sink after dinner and after lunch. Um, clean dishes, like rinse them off and get them ready to be washed and dress himself. Hi guys. <laughs> um, because mommy helps him a lot okay, with bye -bye. dressing himself, so he needs to work on doing that all by himself. And guess what? Guess what we're gonna want, <coughs> want to drink today? What? Hot chocolate. You know what? We can drink hot chocolate after we get done playing in the snow. They know. <laughs> I still have to put away, um, I'm putting away Halloween decorations. Because this big bag is stuff that's going to donation because I'm slowly like cleaning out all my cupboards in the kitchen. So that's why I have stuff all over the floor right now. Trevor left the, left the snack drawer open last oh. night. Silly goose. <laughs> All right, should I'm we eat gonna, breakfast and? Guys, I'm just gonna go look at the snow for one more minute and see you in the next video. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Trevor's gonna go admire the snow. I'm gonna get some breakfast. See that big weed of grass? Yes, one lonely little weed right there. Well, so the first time we're gonna go outside in the winter. Yeah. We're gonna walk down those. That's going to go in the backyard, not the front yard. You're going to play in the backyard? No, we're going to pull that weed out and go in the backyard. Oh, okay. See where all that grass is? Yeah. We're going to put that weed into that all grass. Oh, we should leave it. That way in the springtime when it gets warm, it'll grow. One of these. Put it in there. Mm -hmm. So you can do any size. Hey, what do the medium one. Big cup. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Did I have some oatmeal poop? Milk and hot chocolate? Mm -hmm. Milk hot chocolate? Oh, yes, I'll make you some oatmeal. Oatmeal, hot chocolate, the perfect breakfast for post-snow playing. Okay, we're making paper chains to count down for Christmas. I don't know if I showed you guys this last year, but I have this kit. Um, it's by Alex, and it comes with all these different like patterns, and it comes with its own glue stick. And yeah, it makes it super easy for you. It's 75 feet worth of paper chains. So it'll last us a few years. I know we did one last year um, and we still have a lot of ribbon left. We're starting a little early this year with our countdown, but there's 45 days till Christmas. So how, how are we gonna know how many to put on there? Because we'll count. We'll just keep counting every once in a while. You got one, two, three, four, five so far. Five. So you need 40 more. So that's what we're doing right now. 